So, looks like Monthly Mailbox is back. G'day guys, welcome back to Layla Central. My name's Clint, your average model, and this box must mean Monthly Mailbox is back, which is, you know, excellent to see. I love receiving gifts. So as you can tell, I am a bit excited to see Monthly Mailbox return. Um, you know, I don't spend a, a good, a, you know, I don't spend large amounts of money on myself, um, but um, you know, I do set a little bit of money aside for me just to get a little bit of uh, enjoyment out of little things in life. Um, you know, it's it's all good. We go to work, we pay our bills and all that sort of stuff. But as um, far as I'm concerned, um, you need to be able to enjoy uh, just a little bit of things um, in that sort of regard. So. We are back to monthly mailbox and here is our uh, essentially delivery for a little bit of a while. Now it's not a big purchase, um, but there's some interesting things in here which I will share with you guys. So in here, now I've already taken the stuffing out. In here we've got some plastic kits. Now this is a refinery piping kit by Walther's um, and it's a HO kit. Now as you can see here, we've got all sorts of things such as gantry supports, we've got pipes, um, all manner of things, but we'll take a closer look at this in a minute. And so we've got that. We also have another Worthers kit. This here's a piping kit, again for HO, made by Worthers. So here we've got, you know, all sorts of ground pipes. We've got valves, we've got uh, dials, all sorts of uh, bits and pieces. So again, we'll open this and take a closer look in a minute. And the other thing that we've purchased is an industrial tanks set, again by Worthers. So as you can see, we've got all sorts of little drums on uh, supports etc and uh, if you haven't guessed it yes all these uh, all these details that you see here is all going towards the cement plant so let's get a close look at what's in these kits okay so the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up and take a closer look at the sprue of this industrial tank set by worth this now um, this uh, this thing is um, you know, it wasn't uh, expensive. We uh, this uh, this thing here, I think by memory, was um, around about twenty. Uh, not twenty. I think it was around about fifteen dollars Australian. Um, so it's not uh, to me. It was uh, well priced, uh, as were all these other detail kits. And um, the main reason being why I purchased these is because, well, the cement plant, as I mentioned previously uh, with some of my much earlier videos, is I felt it lacked a lot of detail and extras that most manufacturing plants or uh, uh, cement plants would actually have. Um, so we'll pop that open, get this out. So nothing, uh, nothing super special, of course. We've got a series of tanks of different sizes, um, different sorts of, uh, you know, whether they lie down on concrete pillars. Uh, we've got all sorts of bits of supports and stuff. Um, obviously, it may be a little bit hard to, to see because these are modelled in white and uh, the light's reflecting. But, you know, we've even got, I uh, can't really see it, but we do have um, some rivet detail. You yeah, can't really see it, unfortunately, um, on uh, these bits right here. Um, let see if I can get it to... No, it's not going to work for me, unfortunately, guys. Sorry. Um, but uh, once it's painted, all uh, you'll be able to see these things. So just uh, essentially there's a few tanks in here. Uh, we'll put them together and um, you know, make ourselves a bit of a couple of drums. But, uh, you know, you can imagine that are leaking, um, condensation, compressors, oil, whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, and I guess uh, when you have a look at these sorts of things, they can be used in many different areas, including if you've got, uh, like, essentially a depot that you're working on for your... Um, and diesel locos. Um, so, um, but anyway, let's open up one of the others. So the next one we're going to look at is essentially the Walther's piping kit here. So I've already cut the, the bottom of it, and uh, we'll slide these out. And um, it's interesting. I think we've got some. Oh, look at this! This is awesome. So apart from the instructions, we also have some decals. So obviously these are for. Um, a, uh, a refinery because uh, that's what this is actually uh, from the kit however there are some decals here I can use including like these uh, these signs that say um, if it's going to focus of course I'm not sure what's going on there I can't get my camera to focus today but uh, with all these signs they've got different things such as you know restricted area we've got flammable um, you know gasoline no smoking um, all sorts of various bits and pieces including you know trespass signs um, flammable keep away a lot of good uh, bits and pieces which uh, you know I can probably use some of these in some areas as well and um, 
I reckon that'll uh, that'll work quite good. So I'll put those on some uh, on some cards and um, you know make some good signage up. Um, because obviously, even though it's a cement plant, there will be some places where they might even have a bit of gas uh, going. Um, you know, you don't want to be smoking your gas. So as you can see here, we've got a lot of uh, items. We've got like uh, pipes that uh, twist around at 90 degrees, elbows. We've got these interesting looking bends as well. Um, and I did mention these are for a refinery, but I can make some use of it. We've got super long pipes such as these things here. We've got, um, you know, a bit of a uh, bit of a molded gantry. We've got ladders here handrails, um, even the supports for those uh, the pipes themselves. Um, flipping it over, um, you, know, you can still see some of that uh, detail as well. So some good uh, bits and pieces. And of course, we do have uh, the all important uh, valves right here that uh, go on things for uh, the people to turn. So we've got those um, and by the appears of it. Uh, yeah, so we've got four sprues, yeah, exactly the same of just a series of pipes. So if I move that out, you might be able to see the detail a little bit better. There we are. So um, you know, various uh, knuckles, joins, T-junctions, um, long pipes, small pipes, thick diameter, small diameter. There's all various bits and pieces here. And, uh, you know, when you have a look at some cement plants in the real world, you know, they've got all sorts of pipes going up ahead. Um, so, this, uh, so this is the ground, uh, yes, this is the ground um, piping kit. So this will run at ground level. But um, as you can see here, these are the concrete bits here. So they'll just sit on the ground. And uh, so I can have a bit of fun with that. And I can add some extra good detail uh, to the uh, cement plant with that, I think. And, um, you know, I may not use all the pieces. That's fine. I'll, uh, I'll find places to use them and, uh, and of course, put them in the, uh, the, uh, the spare parts box where I can kit bash things as well. So um, to me, I think it's a, a very essential kit. So let's take a look at the other one. So here we are with the refinery piping kit here, which I think uh, my understanding is it's going to be very similar to the last one. We've just shown the only difference is we've got some uh, gantries and other frames to elevate the pipes off. Uh, so I've taken it out and uh, very similar in some regards because it is a refinery kit. We've got the same sort of decal sheet, uh, sheet here. Um, so with all different uh, signage, etc. Now, let me see. I'll see if I can focus this in a bit for you guys. I don't think I'm... I would get it to focus. Um, I need to get a look at my camera and see what I'm doing wrong here. It has been a long time since I've used it. So, but um, but again, more de decals as well, which would be very useful. Um, and uh, the sprues themselves. So uh, we've got three of them identically the same and um, very similar. So here we go. We've got our uh, gantries and stuff that uh, sit on the ground and uh, elevate everything up higher. Um, by the looks of it, I think we can adjust what sort of height, whether I want them just one high or I glue two parts together to make it two high. Uh, but I'll have a look at the instructions. Obviously, we've got a series of pipes there. Now, these are in groups of four pipes, um, as we can see here. Um, I might actually just flip it over just to see the detail. Oh, yeah, here we are. So, um, you know, we've got more uh, pipes that go essentially on different uh, funny angles um, to 90 degrees. And again, they're all they're all modelled in such a way that all these pipes are together. Um, these, from what I can tell, that... Yeah, so these are uh, these little bits in between the pipes here. This is not a uh, sprue that needs to be cut away, etc. That's actually part of the, uh, the support um, for them looking underneath, etc. So, um, so they're all in groups of four, which ma makes it, I guess, a bit more quicker and easier to handle. Um, banks of four. So again, we've got these funny looking uh, elbows, all the different uh, pipe supports. We've got bits of concrete, uh, even the little pillars that raise off the ground, for example. Um, so a simple kit, but uh, you know, pipes. It's uh, something I felt that the uh, the cement plant was lacking. Um, so when you have a look at something like this, you can imagine uh, as in the cement plant's got all these pipes uh, at ground level and above there's weeds growing in amongst it. It's going to look great when it's done. Uh, I just need to get off my backside and actually paint the cement plant. Um, so let's uh, let's have a bit of a closer look at some. Okay, here we are back at the cement plant, and, uh, and as I mentioned before, you know, all what you're seeing here is what you essentially get. You get some buildings, you get a little bit of infrastructure for top of the silos, but nothing really else. Um, so obviously those tanks that I purchased would be great. You can imagine you might have a couple of tanks sitting over here, leaking condensation, bit of oily greasiness. Um, some of the ground uh, frames, etc., with the pipes may a lot run across the ground in areas, as you can imagine. If you've got pipes going around here, the weed control might be pretty bad, so it might be a little bit overgrown in parts. And, um, you know, as we're talking about with some of the pipes where we've got these four lines and everything else in these gantries, like these sorts of fellows here would look great if we've got pipes coming out of the building here, out, goes down, 
comes across, you know, all these sorts of things, overhead interest, um, you know, not just at ground level, but elevating detail as well. Um, and of course, look, once it's all in, it's going to look fantastic. Um, it's uh, one of the things I think is uh, <laughs> I've overcommitted myself when it comes to paying this building and put too much effort in. Um, I may have or should have cut a few other steps out just to simplify it, just to get the building up. So at least then I can then concentrate and get these floor frames uh, in as well. So when these come in, uh, and I put them on the layout itself. I'm not too sure. Um, it's uh, I'll get around to it, of course. But uh, you know, there's plenty of stuff here that uh, that I've got which I can add detail on. And as you can imagine, but adding the pipes and everything, you know, once I start adding some LEDs to a few areas, this is going to look fantastic, um, just like a real plant, uh, essentially. And that is the goal, of course, being a model railway. Um, so we'll see how uh, how these go and uh, I'm quite keen to get them in just to see how all this detail will look once it's in and, uh, and I think when it comes to painting these, I mean I'll do a video on it when I get round to it, uh, but I think I'll keep these nice and simple, um, you know, paint them of course, give them a light bit of dusting and weathering some powders, but that's it, you know, keep it simple. Um, so it looks effective, but you know, I'm not making a massive career because painting like one of these cement buildings, for example, does take some time and um, and I do it in spurts. I come and go, I'll do a bit more, then I stop. Then I do a bit more, then I stop. And uh, and as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, I do lose interest in doing the same thing again and again. So just trying to mix it up. Um, so there we go. So that's what I've purchased this uh, this month, guys. A bit of uh, extra details and stuff. And um, of course, you know, it, it's gonna look great once it's in. And, uh, and of course, uh, yeah, thanks for following. And uh, and if you've got any questions or are interested in uh, any more details on this, you know, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or uh, not an email, a comment down below in the channel. I will respond at some point and, uh, you know, have a bit of discussion with you. And, um, you know, these will look great once in. And, um, but otherwise, thanks, guys, for following. Thanks for watching and take care. We'll be back again, hopefully soon. Take care. Bye for now.